Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. And we're going to keep on talking about animation presets and the different ways you can use them. So in the last tutorial, I basically showed you how to save your uh, presets and how to apply them onto your text. So um, I'll go over really quick on how to apply them on your text. Again, really fast in case you didn't watch the last one. So just really quick and rough. Come over here to your effects and presets panel. Twirl it down. You got your presets here. Your the uh, presets that come with Adobe are under the presets folder, and the ones that you have created are under the user presets folder. Just click and uh, drag onto your layer, just like you would drag an effect. So I saved this one last time. It's just a, a blur and a bulge effect onto the layer. So I'm going to delete them off. And now you know that you can um, save effects into your animation presets. So just add any effects that you want. And um, I don't even know what I'm picking. Let's uh, posterize, whatever. So, I mean, we've got a couple of effects here, like this blur, this box, or uh, radio blur, and all that stuff. So you can apply effects to animation presets so I'll just uh, save this one and this will be radial blur and posturize so we've got the ability to save effects so let's delete those off now if I want to save uh, animation I can do that also so let's um, Let's animate the scale first. We'll start it here. And uh, we'll bring the scale down. Something like this. And then I'll animate some uh, position properties. Maybe I'll have it fly in. And scale down like that or something like that. Let's easy ease this one keyframe here. And then I'm going to press U to bring up the every property that I have animated I want to select my position pull control select my scale and we have uh, um, both of these selected make sure that your keyframes are selected and also make sure you don't have anything selected that you don't want to be a preset let's click on our preset button here to make the preset and I've got what a scale and uh, a position from the top left so I could say fly in scale down top left or something like that fly in scale down top left or from top left maybe I should say but it's it's good to have a descript descriptive uh, um, name for your preset so let's delete these off and see if we can apply our preset and see if it looks the same so we're going to come to our user presets. We've got fly in scale from top left. Drag that on. And look at that. We've got it in here. It kept our easy ease keyframe in there that I created. And it keeps it on the exact time and seconds that um, you put it in there as. So if I move this back and I saved it earlier, then that's uh, basically if I moved around the keyframes to like five seconds it would have pasted the uh, preset on at five seconds instead of at three so if that if you understand what that means so now we know that we can save effects and we can save um, animation properties like the position and scale and all that stuff so if I twirl down and I've got our transformation properties here any of these I can create a an animation preset with so let me take that off. I'm gonna, just going to delete these out so I don't have to worry about them later. Now one thing when you're ta um, creating animation presets, say I'll put those back on real quick. Say I put on an effect right now and I just want it to be like some kind of uh, distort effect and I'll do ripple and we'll just make it so that it does something so now I've got my animation preset here if I accidentally have 
deselected somehow and then go to drag this and create an animation preset let's do rip and I think I'm just gonna I just want to save ripple all right so let me uh, delete this you're gonna accidentally bring in the keyframes of the uh, property you accidentally had selected so let's uh, show you that so you want to make sure that everything isn't selected as you can see here now I've got the ripple on there and I accidentally uh, had my position keyframes selected so it pasted those in also and you can see that I had my current time indicator at this point right here that's where it pasted the position keyframes from so keep that in mind it's going to paste the position keyframes um, at the time of your current indicator and go from there how many seconds you had uh, when you first saved it so I want to delete this one so we're gonna have to let's go back in and uh, we can come back in and just delete this out so that's how you delete your animation presets now another thing you can save is masks so let me delete all this stuff out and let's just create some masks let's bring this in the middle all right and I'll create another mask here this is a shape by accident I don't you can tell when it's a mask or a shape by the color make sure I have my layer selected when I'm doing this so I've got two masks there let's invert these so we can see more of what's going on actually subtract that's what we want well, there we go so now we've got our two masks just cutting things out we can select our masks here and create a new preset and um, this one I'm not going to go too crazy with the name because I'm never going to use it but goofy masks save now I'll delete out my masks and bring them on to just make sure that it works goofy masks bring it on and there we've got our masks saved so that's helpful if you don't want to draw masks all the time or twirl down and always have to copy and paste the different masks. One thing that you should be aware of is that if you create an animation preset and you put it onto a layer, if you go to try to edit that animation preset and save it over top, so you saved it over the top of the one that you already had, it's not going to update all of the layers that have it on it you're gonna have to reapply that to the different layers so that's just like a gotcha kind of thing or something to keep in in mind while you're doing this and also um, just like what, what I showed you when I accidentally selected those keyframes make sure you press you hold shift and press F12 I think it is no no shift and F2 and that will deselect all like the keyframes and stuff like that that you had so push press shift F2 and then go ahead and select your whatever you want to actually put into your animation preset that'll deselect anything else so you don't bring anything in by accident so those are I don't know those are a few tips and stuff like that about uh, presets and the different things that you can use um, there's probably some more things that you can put into preset animation presets so basically the rule of thumb is anything that you can copy and paste in After Effects you can pretty much make an animation preset out of it so just keep that in mind as your general rule of thumb so thanks for watching this one and um, I'm gonna make another tutorial about how to use how to apply animation presets because there's uh, about six different ways and I guess that um, warrants another tutorial. So thanks for watching this one and keep an eye out for the next tutorials. See you guys soon.